So hey guys, I'm back and I'm super excited because right now I'm ready to my new destination. Uh, as I told in my previous video, uh, at the moment I will go to Scandinavia and I will visit in to Stockholm and uh, Copenhagen. So I'm super excited because right now I'm being to the Budapest airport called List Ferenc Airport and yeah I guess I'm ready for my new experience and meeting to a new people and uh, and meeting a new culture and and yeah and making a new friendship or whatever so I will see so just following me in this destination and discovering together in this country so I'm so anxious so okay. so at the last day I just uh, discovered at the city and and I didn't record any videos so right now I'm just trying to say some normally sentence for example He's Andreas and she's Catherine and we met to the coach surfing and I can recommend it everybody this application because I guess it's a very very good application if you traveling alone like me and I met these uh, some people and trust me they are so good <laughs> because this is the fact when I take a very short um, introduction with them all right so as I told, I met with Catherine and Andres for the coach surfing application. And I guess uh, this application was one of my best experience in Scandinavia. But right now I asking for them, what was the best experience in Scandinavia? So the best experience for me would be getting to know locals, discovering Denmark by myself. I speak a little bit of Danish and you know if that's a small language which nobody actually speaks, it's pretty much awesome and people are happy, they're really friendly. Mm, yeah, I really like it here and my favorite Danish word would be skilpe. My favorite experience was to discover the city by my own with one of these new electric scooters they have in Scandinavia everywhere and you can just go there and scan the QR code and you have the whole city in your palm more or less because it's not that big and yeah discovering the narrow streets and the little shops all over the place. Yeah. Uh, this place looks like very calm. Three, if you look at this, like the horror movie. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, I'm making a video, but it's it looks like good. It's it's very creepy hole. Yeah. Now you can see a real Viking guys. Island. Are you recording? Yeah. Cool. Here's the enemy. Ah, scheiße. <laughs> it's you, Sophie. How heavy is it? Oh, it's, 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 it's like a tan. <laughs> but it looks like 50 feet. Why can't he celebrate in his win? It's so wind. like it. It's not that much. They defeated I mean, the land. Heavy, that's not they party. Alright, so. And the helmet. Yeah, and the helmet. Yeah. And now, the Viking is complete. Um, <laughs> shall we advance somebody? <laughs> meanings for me so abstract um, look at this color it's so amazing but trust me it is just look you <laughs> and yeah everything's so awesome Hi, <laughs> 
hører til på boen med Frankrig via ambassadører, for at nå til fransk ord. Og en af dem, der var i Danmark, skrev Harry Potter. at både vi og vores børn... Okay. So right now I would like to share with you some statistics data about Denmark. But I don't want to be boring, so I choose some interesting fact about this country. The first is Denmark population is just 5.8 million person. And Faroe Island and Greenland is still a part of Denmark. And I guess it is interesting because in the high school I was very good to the geography but I forget about this fact and another thing uh, Denmark GDP is one of the best of the world exactly Denmark's economy and GDP is the sixth best on the earth and one another fact about Danish people the Vikings culture is the most important thing about them because as you see in my previous clips I have been to the Danish National Museums and the most of the exhibition was about the Vikings. Okay, so in the end I would like to tell some short sentence because right now I'm realized this video it's quite of long. Right now it's six minutes, yeah. So my favorite experience was uh to the coach surfing. As I told before I can recommend it very much this application because uh, you know um, I went to Copenhagen and uh, Stockholm by myself and I was alone but I used this application and I met a very very good people you saw to Catherine and, and Andreas so I would like to thanks for them to the hubs and uh, yeah this was my f my best experience so the other things uh, that surprised me uh, the plane it's arrived half an hour before to the approximately time and uh, when I came back to Budapest it was same and for me it was a big uh, surprise to the Scandinavian culture because you know it's impossible to drink an alcohol uh, at the outside but uh, when I have been to Copenhagen I went to Christi Christiania and uh, this region it's quite of a big place and it has a lot of dealers, you know, it's selling the drugs and this area it has most of the young people and they are drinking there because in this region it's it's possible to drink or or, or maybe it's not possible but they are drinking there and using a weed or something so yeah this this area was was a big surprise for me because this culture it's it's a bit more different like my own country to hungary by the way have you been in scandinavia write me to the answer to the comment section and write me to your private opinion and if you like this video please subscribe me and like this video or share whatever you want and following me because soon as possible I guess to the next week I will share for you my uh, Stockholm experience so yeah have a nice day peace love unity